So it is the next day from the earlier clip that you just saw. We got too busy with life and we're not able to film a haul, but this is everything that I got yesterday at the th two thrift stores that I went to. So the first place that I went to was the Value Village in Everett. So we got some amazing treasures there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first thing I picked up was this Mexican folk art. He's a ceramic gecko. Maybe he's a lizard. We are not sure if he is hand painted, but he definitely could be good. Could be. He has no markings on him, so I don't think it's a Talavera or um, anything like that. But he is super cute, and we're going to go ahead and put him up on our eBay. I think he should do well. He'll ship really well also, so I'm really excited about him. So I got some Ray Dunn Yum Plates. They're six and a quarter inches. There are three of them. So not all Ray Dunn is created equally. <laughs> not all Ray Dunn is, uh, is exclusive or has a really good resale value, but I did look up these plates um, and on the eBay sold portion, and it did look like a lot of three or a lot of four. Both were going for about $25, $26. So I went ahead and picked these up. They were $2.99 a piece, so that's $6 for all three of them. And if for some reason they don't sell, I'll just keep them, they're super cute. So the third thing that I picked up was this Tabletops Lifestyles Cashmere hand-painted and hand-crafted bowl. It's a cereal bowl, so it's a little bit bigger than um, your typical bowl. And it was $1.99. They have a resale value of about $25 on eBay. After I got it home, though, and was starting to take pictures for eBay, I noticed a chip. There's two little flea bites as well, but that was the one, that was the, the clincher um, as far as not being able to resell it our ceramic ruffle geometric purple <laughs> plate pinch, that's a lot pinch pot yeah uh so it is um a designer creation by Catherine. Catherine apparently was super talented uh those geometrics are right on the money i'm not sure if it was a stamp or hand carved uh the glaze is so beautiful it's such a great purple color so we picked this up for $5.49, obviously since it is a, a one-of-a-kind piece, there's not anything I can look for as far as comps. But Catherine, if you're out there, we love this piece. Thank you for making it. Yeah, it's awesome. So this beautiful <laughs> green macaw, he, um, he called out to me when I first got there, but I did leave him behind. And before I left, I just saw him sitting there, and he definitely told me to come back. So this is a reverse painted on glass green macaw. As you can tell, this is a huge picture. You can see the price tag right there. We paid $7.99 for him. He is really, really cute. Um, when I was growing up, my stepmom had birds. Um, she had a mitric conure and I had a cockatiel. So I definitely have an affinity for birds. I don't have one now because I have kids. So I have all the noise that I need in my life. Uh, so he'll be up on our ebay he does come framed uh so one of the fun things about this picture um because the back looks like it was in a contest right canvas foundation board um it has the artist and her address in indiana so i took this out just to make sure there weren't anything going wrong with it and this is the um, background paper it's it's like a foil paper that's what you're seeing here but this is actually, it looks like, it reminded me of the Wizard of Oz in like an Indiana tornado type of, a, but it's not even a finished piece. They used it for the backing on that, so you get a bonus half print when you get this picture. I'm sure no one will um, be too worried about that with this beautiful, beautiful macaw on there. And if you know what type of bird he is, please leave it in the comments. Uh, there's some uh, flowers that go with him as well, and this is all painted that way. It is not flaked off. Like I said, this is reverse painting, so all of this is just glass. They painted on the underside of this piece. It's really cool. I thought this was just tin foil, and you look at it, it actually has like a pattern on it. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that we got at Value Village came in a bag, and it was these four guys together. 
So the first two little espresso cups, the J and the A with the gold trim, are from Williams and Sonoma. They're a really great brand, as I'm sure you are all aware of, and uh, they have a great resale value on eBay. Uh, the whole bag was $4, so we'll call them a dollar each. So with the resale value in that, they were a wonderful pick for us to pick up. Uh, J and A, I felt like those were pretty common letters. I could think of a bunch of people that I know that have J and A's in their names. So went ahead and grabbed them. And then this came with it, so that was my pull to the bag. I this does not have any markings on there. I only actually see one up on eBay and it has a yellow background. Uh, it is a egg on a stand salt and pepper shaker. They don't have any chips or dings or scratches or anything like that. They have never been used as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the stopper is really clean. So I thought that that was a great little piece. So even if he's not worth a whole lot, he came with the bag. So he was coming home with us no matter what. Uh, really love that. The oh, I forgot. We also got this from the Value Village. So it's a, I believe, Mexican folk art crossbody bag. It was five forty nine. It's in a really great um, condition. I believe it could have only been displayed. Um, if you use a purse, you know that once you use one for a while. Um, the little crumbs and stuff just don't come out. Um, so this has none of that. It's definitely. Uh, never been used or used very minimally. Uh, there's a small amount of wear on here, so that's why I just believe that it was um, on display. Could have been the Value Village as well. So $5.49 for that. Uh, leave me a comment down below on what you think this is. If you think it's a Mexican folk art, Norwegian, Scandinavian. Uh, the back is what made me question on what it is and there are no comps up on eBay or on the internet that I could find. Um, I did do the Google image search where you can take a picture and nothing came up. Just things that looked a lot like it. Yeah, let us know what you think that could be because I'm interested too. Yeah. It has like some Asian aspect into it. It's weird. Yeah, we, yeah, it's definitely, it's a around the world kind of a folk art. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Uh, so the second thrift store that we went to was the Goodwill in Marysville. Uh, so we've been there before. It's one of our um, typical haunts. <laughs> and I went back specifically for these little teapots. So I saw them uh, about a week or two ago. Um, and you'll see that last video where we did the haul. And uh, these were there, they were in a bag. I left them there, came home, was thinking about them and I looked them up. Uh, I originally thought that they were the Avon ones. I think I'm gonna start taking pictures of things that I don't know if I wanna go back for. Um, so I originally thought they were the Avon ones, which if they were the Avon ones, go for about $40 for the full set. They are not Avon, they have a M or a three. I'm trying to find one without a tag on it an M or a three or maybe even an E that um, is the maker's mark for that. I have seen some of these on eBay. They still sell pretty well. So the last thing that we got from our second thrift store was some Snow Baby water globes. I'm gonna hold, this one has a star so I don't wanna shake mine with that star there. So this one here that Chris is holding is a musical water globe. And it is a dream. Uh, has the words dream on here. And it's a cute little snow baby sleeping in his bed. And then the second one that I got is a catch a keeper. And this has a little snow baby on top, and he has a little dangly star that he is using to catch that fish. Uh, this one is not musical, it's just as heavy. Uh, super cute, I definitely can see why people collect these. The thing that I really am starting to like about the this little guy is the, the texture. I can't see it. We'll, we'll take a picture and put it in the video. Um, but the texture that they have on this little snow baby is just amazing. I don't know how they get that detail. Um, this one has it, but since he's in the water, it's a little uh, less... It's almost um, like a flocked, mm -hmm. but it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's very detailed. Mm 
yeah. So both of these were $6.99. They go for about $25 to $35 on eBay out of the box. So that was an awesome find. I actually never thought um, when I started looking at thrifting and all the names and all of that stuff. I just never thought I'd find a snow baby. I never thought I'd find any Fenton things. And look, I ended up finding two of each. So it was really great that I could get out there, um, look through, participate with these thrift stores, especially Bella's Voice in Linwood, since they do such great work um, with all of their proceeds. So we enjoy this pick in life that we're that we're doing here and we love for you to come along don't forget to like and subscribe so that and turn on your notifications so you know when a new video comes out